Kylie Jenner's mug is plastered all over the internet. And surprise, surprise, it's not for launching a new lip kit this time. Nope, this time it's the puffy under eye drama. Yeah, that's right. Our girl's face has definitely changed. Now, I'm no doctor, but even I can tell that this ain't your grandma's kind of aging. This is what you get when you're on a first name basis with every cosmetic injector in town. Dr. Johnny Betteridge chimed in on this, saying that Kylie's puffiness could be due to too much filler in those areas. Fillers love water, so if there's too much in one spot, it can make things look swollen because it gathers up fluid. Then there's this buzz about what happens when you use fillers for a long time. Some folks are saying that Kylie's face shows what can go wrong if you're always getting fillers. They can move around from where they're supposed to be, and over time, they might mess with your skin's ability to stay firm and bouncy on its own. This could make you want more fillers just to keep things looking all right. Have you noticed something different about Kylie's cheeks? They're getting bigger, and there's this thing called Mahler Mounds. It's when your cheeks hold on to water instead of letting it go. It's really strange to see. The Kardashian-Jenner clan and a twist no one saw coming is all up in arms. Mama Chris is out there crying fake tears about Kylie's independent choices, while Kim's throwing shade left and right, pretending she's not part of the same filler fan club. Honestly, it's like watching a soap opera but with more Botox. And what's with this sudden family intervention? Last I checked, the Kardashians were the unofficial ambassadors of hashtag do whatever makes you happy, as long as it involves a needle and a camera crew. Now, they're acting like Kylie's personal choices are a bigger scandal than if she decided to wear flat shoes to a red carpet event. So what's the moral of the story here, folks? Maybe, just maybe, it's time to pump the brakes on the fillers. Kylie Jenner has lately become a focal point for the media, yet the reason behind the attention is genuinely astonishing. Recently, Kylie has been increasing her public appearances, where she has been captured in real time. She accompanied her boyfriend Timothy Chalamet to the Golden Globes and made an appearance at Paris Fashion Weekly. Typically, Kylie receives accolades for her fashion selections, but but it's actually Kylie's facial features that have stirred concern among fans of the youngest member of the Kardashian family. Our girl Kylie's face is buzzing all over social media and not for launching another shade of overpriced lipstick. Nope, this time the chatter's all about her latest touch-ups. And I use that term looser than a pair of two sizes too big jeans. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the big sis in the reality show? Kim K is stepping into the spotlight, not to flaunt her latest skims line, but to spill the tea on Kylie's face. Yep, you heard that right. Kim's playing the role of the concerned sister, saying Kylie's beauty escapades are more out of control than a Black Friday sale at Sephora. What's Kim's take on all of this? Well, she's being about as clear as mud. But reading between the lines, it sounds like she thinks Kylie's gone from Instagram chic to plastic fantastic. But don't hold your breath for a straight answer. The Kardashians are more about cliffhangers than clear communication. And what's the deal with Kylie's face, you ask? Grab your popcorn because we're about to unwrap this mystery like it's a new episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Miss Jenner is the queen of chameleon style, has rocked more looks than a Barbie doll catalog. From pixie cuts to pastel wigs, she's done it all. But when it comes to admitting what's been poked and prodded at on her face, she's as tight-lipped as a clam with locked jaw. Except, of course, when it comes to her lips, which she proudly claims are more enhanced than a photo with a dozen Instagram filters.
Let's cut to the chase. Kylie's been playing hide-and-seek with the truth about her cosmetic adventures. Now, word on the street is she started young, real young. Now she's trapped in a cat-and-mouse game, trying not to influence her impressionable followers into turning their faces into a science experiment. But... Come on, we all know the lip filler confession was just the tip of the iceberg in a sea of beauty procedures. So, our dear Kylie, in a heart-to-heart with the glamorous H-girls, wants the world to believe she's not the surgery poster child everyone makes her out to be. She's like, hey, it's all a big misunderstanding, guys. I'm just a regular gal who wanted plumper lips. Sure, Kylie, and I'm the tooth fairy. Let's get real. Kylie claims she was the queen of confidence growing up, the life of the party, Miss Center of Attention, but then out of nowhere, where a wild lip insecurity appeared and bam, lip fillers entered the chat and oh boy, according to her, getting those fillers was like finding the last piece of a puzzle. Suddenly, the world made sense again. Now, let's rewind to when Kylie first got those infamous lip fillers at the ripe old age of 18. Fast forward and suddenly, those fillers are spinning off into an empire of Kylie lip kits. Talk about turning insecurity into cold, hard cash. Girl knows how to play the game. But here's where it gets juicier. Kylie's been dancing around the truth like it's a game of musical chairs. One minute, it's all, nope, no surgery here, and the next, okay, maybe just a tiny bit of filler. Then, bam, 2019 hits, and she's in Paper Magazine playing the victim of mistaken identity, claiming she's more scared of surgery than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Fast forward to the blockbuster twist in 2020 where Kylie drops the bomb in an episode of the Kardashians. Yes, she did go under the knife, but oh, only for the breast at 19. And now, with the wisdom of the ages, she's pondering the philosophical dilemma of her daughter wanting to follow in her footsteps. Kylie Jenner is causing gossip once more. This time, people started talking after she appeared at Paris Fashion Week looking very different, as if she had changed her usual style team for something more unusual, like a group of secret magicians. So here's the tea. Kylie rolls up and the Jean Paul Gaultier show in what can only be described as the most chill outfit ever for someone who usually looks like they're about to grace the cover of Vogue. Minimal makeup, simple mini dress, you know, the I'm trying not to try look, but oh plot twist. Instead of the applause for her new look, the internet detectives are all up in arms, claiming she looks like she fast forwarded a decade or two. Classic case of you can't win if if you do, you can't win if you don't. Enter the fan base. One eagle eye redditor drops a video of Kylie and it's like opening Pandora's box. Comets flood in faster than a Kardashian drops a new product line. With one fan playing nice but hinting that Kylie's refreshed look makes her seem more vintage than Vino. But wait, there's a plot twist. Injection expert Molly Bailey jumps into the fray with a diagnosis that sounds more like a spell from Harry Potter. Alar Rim Retraction. Sounds fancy, right? Apparently, it's doc talk for your nose might be telling tales of your nip tucks. Molly breaks it down for us mere mortals, saying that if your nostrils are throwing more shade than a palm tree, it might be because of a little dance with Botox or a fling with fillers. And just when you think we're done, the cavalry arrives. Dr. Sear and Dr. Divine hop onto the speculation train. Dr. Sear is all, it's the fillers, folks. They're puffing up like a Thanksgiving parade balloon. Meanwhile, Dr. Divine is playing the blame game with incorrect filler injections. It's like everyone's suddenly an expert in the art of face sculpting. You see, Kylie Jenner is no stranger to a little 
All right, a lot of cosmetic enhancement. But lately, it seems like her face is throwing a puff party and everyone's invited. If you caught a glimpse of her latest snap, you might notice her under eyes are puffier than a marshmallow at a campfire. And let's be clear, this isn't the usual battle scars of aging we're talking about. We're in the prime years, people. The internet's been buzzing, and not in a good way. Social media sleuths can't stop gabbing about Kylie's transformation, especially post Paris Fashion Week. Comments are flooding in faster than a Kardashian can snap a selfie, with gyms like, girl, who are you hiding from with all that puff? And, honey, you're too young to be playing in the filler sandbox. Kylie became the unexpected star of the Golden Globes, but not for snagging an award. No, our girl became meme fodder, getting compared to none other than Killian Murphy. Yeah, the dude's a looker, but Kylie's not exactly shooting for the ruggedly handsome middle-aged man vibe. Twitter went wild with fans tossing out zingers like, congrats on your new face, looks like it came with a side of man in his 40s, and What's the refund policy on a face that's melting faster than a candle in the sun? The irony? Kylie's out here posting pics where she looks fresh out of high school. While the internet's convinced she's auditioning for a role of a lifetime, a wax figure, and the Celebrity Hall of Fame.